Welcome to my stream. My name is Paid. Uh, it's because I actually get people paid. Anyway, I started trading in 2008 and uh, pretty much I started trading OTCs. I made a killing in 2017 when the marijuana boom went to the moon. Anyway, I've been trading small caps ever since. I've been highly profitable. Um, I've traveled around the world, been everywhere actually. Uh, cruised about 250 days, if I were to remember. I don't know how many days I really cruised. And lived in multiple countries. Life of a day trader is awesome. Uh, I've been trading small caps and I've been green mostly every single day. Anyway, so you've seen the news. Market has been plunging. Crypto has been plunging. You have a bear market. Recession is everywhere. And, uh, you know, people got to pay pay bills with six dollar gas prices it's really tough out there i understand anyway so i've been um i've been live streaming every day weekday 7 a.m to 10 a.m on youtube you know i'm trying to make 200 on each trade and on a really good day i make over a thousand um join me on my youtube stream each day each morning from 7 a.m to 10 a.m as i try to get you guys a paycheck each and every day and don't forget to subscribe for my courses, for my daily watch list, for my private videos, and also for my private Discord. Anyway, stay safe out there, and see you guys later. Peace out. All right, what's going on? Welcome to my stream. So uh, right now, what we're doing here is we're uh, reviewing my last week's trades. Um, my last week has been pretty profitable, to tell you the truth. Um, and, uh, let's see, like what I traded Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so forth. So on Monday, the 28th, I think, no, the 14, 15, 16, I think it was the 13. The 13, I only traded, uh, one ticker. Uh, the ticker was Dawn. I shorted it around 15 and covered 1350. I'm just going to see how that, uh, performed. So Monday we had Dawn coming up here that uh, pretty much uh, we had a big news day. Um, the news was, um, I don't know what the news was, on the, um, on the 13th was it, just reviewing the trades. The news was uh, right here, uh, it was a really good news, let's see if I can find uh, initial, there we go, uh, positive trials, uh, see, tumor. Uh, that is pretty much it. The spike announced. Okay, so the news was pretty good. Pretty good. 613. Uh, there we go. Re relapse pediatric low grade. Okay, so, so it had pretty good news on their drug. That's pretty much it. I looked at it in the morning and I looked at the float. I don't really remember what the float was. But I looked at it and it was, um, you know, it was going up pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. Um, I remember it was uh, over here, I think. Uh, I was over here. Let's go back a bit and try to get it out. So I was, I, I woke up late and I woke up at like 8. So I was seeing it in this range over here and I thought about buying the pre-market high, which was quite efficient to buy it in the 12s or so forth. And, um, you know, I looked at the daily and, uh, you know, it was a fresh, clean chart. The resistance was like at 19. And then I looked at the uh, shear structure. I don't remember what the shear structure was. If I were going to look at Finviz real quick. If I were going to look at Finviz, uh, Dawn, let's see if we can uh, get the trade ideas going. If I look at Dawn, I looked at, uh, you know, Shares flowed 41 million and institutions was 83%. So when I saw institutions at 83%, you know, that's part of my DVD course to be careful. You know, when you have an 83% owned stock that is all institutions, you know, it trades a little bit different. It, they actually hold gains and those institutions just get in and slowly grind it like this. And uh, you and then pretty much, uh, so it pretty much uh, goes down at the open. That's kind of what I thought. I thought it was gonna go up, and then you know all these all these people that were buying over here. There was at least I don't know I don't know uh, seven eight nine million in in in, in uh, on the volume. 
So I thought that it's gonna have a dip. So I started shorting the 15 range, I think, and I covered into the washes, which was at 13.5 or so. And then um, that, 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 that ended up being a good trade. I kind of avoided the whole day. You can see how it spiked midday about here. And it spiked again here off the pre-market highs of 16. And uh, I kind of avoided the whole day, which, which, which is a good thing that I took my money and I ran. Because, you know, the only other, because the only other trade would have been short again, the pre-market high at 11.15 and short, short the pop. So I didn't do that. I avoided all day and that was that was the trade. Uh, that's, that's about it on that one. Now we're going to move on to Tuesday. Tuesday was a pretty, um, pretty more, more difficult. I don't know. Tuesday was a $300 day. Um, I'm not really sure. So I saw some over here in the morning. So um, I think I bought it around here somewhere. I bought it around uh, over here somewhere. I don't remember where exactly I bought it. Let's see if I can remember. So I bought it around uh, 75 and I sold it 82, 86. And uh, 75, it was around there. And I sold it at uh, 82.86, which was a pretty good, 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 good risk reward. I saw it had a daily resistance on the daily huge volume here of I don't know um, how many million that is. That's a huge volume bar, and that is a resistance of 90. So we had a downtrend. I bought the break 75. I think I was long around 75 here, as it broke over VWAP and it came back down, and I was risking 72. I was risking three cents. And I ended up making uh, a lot more than three cents. So that was the best trade of the day. Um, I think I only bought about 6,000 shares. 6,000 sh shares, I think. And I sold 82. And then I sold all the way to, um, I don't know, 85 or something. Looks like. Then I, sh then I did some KAVL trades. Uh, KVL trades. Let me see if I can see. KVL popped in on on over here. I don't remember what exactly I did, but I'm trying to see my um, my trades on KVL on Husa KVL. I traded it for flat. I don't. I can't see all this stuff, so I I, I don't see it. But uh, oh yeah, it was a Husa day. I remember. So Husa came up. KVL. I traded down, but it was flat. So then we had Husa. Husa was a pretty much, um, you know, pretty much was a daily that made a new high. So my strategy was to buy as soon as the daily made a new high of 7.33. Uh, that's kind of exactly what I did, and um, it performed uh, well. But I just did not. Um, I just didn't. I I bought I bought it around here, and I got a kind of got flushed, and then I rebought it at the VWAP reclaim. And then I, I, I felt that, you know, this stock was flirting around with yesterday's high, which was 735 over here. And uh, because of that, I pretty much uh, stomped on, you know, I, I was trying to buy it because I thought it, was got, it had room all the way to 850. You know, if it breaks 8, 733, which it did, and it was flirting with that level, um, I thought it was just going to go higher, and it did. That was my target around eight. So my best entry, I think, was seven twenty, and um, seven twenty. And my exit was around seven ninety. My my worst trade was buy at seven forty and sold at seven, which was pretty much terrible. I bought it the initial time, it, the the first time it hit um, seven forty because I thought that was a fifty two week breakout or you know a daily breakout and potential going over fifty two week high. Or, or over here into the tent so it had potential but it just there was no follow-through and then pretty much kind of tanked afterwards and and I avoided it the whole time that was Husa that was Tuesday uh, Wednesday was a pretty much pretty good day uh, Wednesday was probably the best day it was an easier day I, I, I was trading I made 20 cents three times the first one I made in boxed box came in on on wednesday i think it was over here i don't remember where the time frame was so box uh, let's see we can see the the five minute boxed i don't remember is this it boxed let's see if we can there we go so box uh so i kind of just oh I, I was buying it over here 181 
and I sold it against the uh, pre-market resistance over here. I don't remember what the strategy was, but I was seeing a lot of, you know, pre-market uh, movers. Uh, so I saw a box. So we had a history of stocks, you know, sell, sold off stocks, making a daily new high. So box made a daily new high in the pre-market at 175. So in the morning, I kind of bought it around 180, risking off 175. That was my strategy. And then it hit all the way to two, made it around 15, 15, 15 uh, percent over here in this range here. You know, a million, a million, a million shares traded around two bucks. Sell out of money. So my my plan was to buy it when they did a Viva reclaim because because it broke yesterday's highs of 177 and I did bought around 180 and like pretty much uh, got out at like two bucks or something like that. And uh, my best trade on it was um, buy 180, sold at two. I thought my 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 next uh, my next resistance would have been 220. Came back down to 190. I sold it. That was a pretty good trade, I'd say. And uh, now we got Evoc and Saidu. Evoc and Saidu. Uh, so Evoc. Oh, I remember this one. Evoc. Um, I remember this one. So I, I kind of was was buying um, this one. This 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 kind. Of, I was buying the dip over here which I shouldn't have I was buying it under VWAP which was pretty much terrible so Evoc popped up and you know people were chasing it but I didn't chase so I kind of just bought the dip I think I bought the dip around uh, let's see I bought the dip at um, I bought I bought I was buying a dip over here underneath because I thought I, th I thought it had potential to do a VWAP reclaim and I bought around there 355 and sold it 3675. Uh, I was not chasing it. You can see here how it never really gave you a clean indication to buy it. It just had one green candle, one green candle, one green candle. Never, it never had a pullback of sideways price action. And um, you know it had news and uh, it went all the way to four. That was that was impressive to tell you the truth. And uh, so I kind of bought the dip and sold the rip. Evoc, I was trading with 2,000 shares. They made 430 on that. Then you have Boxed. Boxed. Let's see. Boxed. I, I already talked about that trade. So now the next trade is um, Saidu. Saidu is probably the next trade. Saidu is the next trade. As uh, I don't remember exactly what how I traded this one, or to tell you the truth. I, I don't really remember. Saidu was the stock of that went to the moon. Uh, pretty much uh, bought a 260 and sold a 282 which is pretty ridiculous because it went all the way to like six so I, I kind of remember how it went I was kind of buying the the you know the the bull flags you know the downtrends and I was, I was buying it I think I bought her like right here 260 I was buying right here risking off VWAP and I kind of got 20 cents on one candle right there at around eight o'clock huge huge then it hit like 320 and then the next day this 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 stock had really good news i don't remember what the news was this was the nasa news so not nothing i could have done different here i i could have bought you know the gap and go setup or, or buy the pre-market highs right here at 291 and you know take it out at 320 i could have bought that but i didn't i pretty much most of my trades are done in the pre-market and uh, only only some are done pretty much in the you know uh and uh you know after the market opens so this was the the difficult day of this is the, this is the most difficult day that i had um uh, which was um you know i took two big losses in strr and uh strr this stock you know i i was buying this stock because it had news and it was just not moving i mean i mean it, it didn't have a history of running and strr if i look at my notes those are like my my biggest like losses uh for the for the um, for the week if i were gonna those are like my big losses if i were gonna look at my losses let's see if we can see there we go so as you can see i i wrote i wrote a i pretty much right here so 
this is it. So uh, news good, four point five million dollar uh, contract. So the float was pretty much high, around twelve million. The volume was light. The volume on the one minute was very light. It didn't hold VWAP. It didn't, you know, it had had a four point five million dollar contract. It's just that uh, the volume didn't come in. Like you can see here, the volume was only like a hundred k, and it just. You know, it had, it had this fake out, you know, first one minute to make a new high over there. That's where I bought at like 120 and then completely stuff. So I was expecting it would just, you know, it had room. It broke. You know, I was looking at the daily. You got a 110. The next resistance is 144. So I was like, it got room to 144. And it just, it just didn't, you know, it, it first one minute to make a new high there. At 120, it just got flopped. And then I held it for longer than I should because the day before, I, I kind of, you know, the day before, if you look at, you know, EVOC, EVOC, I was buying it under VWAP. So we can look at EVOC and everything, everything worked when I was buying it under VWAP. So I was buying it under VWAP, EVOC, and it worked. So I looked at STRR and I was like, sweet, I'll just, I'll just hold it just in case it goes a little bit under VWAP and then comes back. So my my mind was not in the in the trading things of, of stuff. So that's what kind of, that's what I was thinking. And then an, another one, VIVK, VIVK, pretty much um, pretty much over here but had a great news. This stock ended up squeezing the whole day. Uh, VIVK, I looked at it, had great news. I don't remember exactly what the um, you know news was. Acquisition, three thirty-seven point four million dollar deal. The flow was ten million. Volume was one million. Didn't hold VWAP, so I was kind of buying it. Uh, you know, I, I saw these these big pops. I could have gotten in on these pops, and then you know I I eventually got in at three, but I wasn't quick enough to sell it at three twenty or three thirty. Because I was looking at it, I was like three, got room till four fifty, maybe it just goes there in the pre-market. It didn't end up doing that. So instead of cutting it off when it came back, you know, first one minute to make a new high here, 286, got completely demolished. Instead of cutting my losses here at 270 from three, you know, same same problem here. I just I just held stocks, I bought them, and I just you know held them as they broke below VWAP, which is uh, pretty much um Pretty much terrible, I would have to say. Pretty much terrible, and uh, hopefully I will not do that again. I'm just gonna be like, uh, you know, just gonna take my losses and move on. Uh, I, I attended to, I attended to trade ADN. I remember trading ADN, and uh, ADN was pretty much terrible. Uh, ADN had great news. I don't know, NASA contract, government, something. And uh, this low here ended up holding all the freaking day. It was like a 281 low. And I was short ADN around, I don't know. You know, I, I at this point I was like burned out. I took one loss, two loss, and then pretty much I'm getting myself in trouble here with ADN again. So there, there are two, three things that didn't go well with me that day. I don't know what is it about Thursday, but I just, I just couldn't picture the stock you know, actually holding 150% on the day because it was up from like a dollar. So I was like, I was going to go to like 340 and then it's going to just be an all day fade. That's kind of what I thought. But the volume kept coming in. I don't know what the share structure of ADN was, but they con continuously held the support, which was 282. And even here, they did a fake out support rock pool and then they came right back up. So I kept holding it and kept holding it even with like a 290 and I ended up taking it off over here somewhere. So I ended up losing on that. It, it was just it was just one big mess and then I kind of dug myself out of a hole and I was burned out. And um, I didn't really do anything. ADN was just terrible. ADN I think is this stock it was a huge float. I got stubborn as a short. I don't know if I were going to... Look at ADN, ADN, ADN. If I were gonna look at it, it was like 31% uh, institutions and 50% insiders owned. So and the sh and it was like a 25 million shares. I was standing 70 million. So it was it was pulling a lot of volume. You can see here, and I and I started shorting because uh, uh, you know even though it had like a billion dollar deal I started shorting something that had you know two three hundred eight hundred you know I just 
I'm, I was very chaotic. Like, for example, you know, the stocks that I should have been short. I, you know, the, I mean, these STRR, great news, $4.5 million contract, which I thought, but crappy chart. Then you had VIVK, which was, you know, acquisition of $34 million or something. I thought it would be great, but I didn't hold VWAP, didn't hold VWAP. I held them longer because I thought, like, because I thought yesterday I'm going to hold them if they don't hold VWAP. Then ADN, I got stubborn and I kind of almost, like, lost a bit. And then, you know, thank God CMRA came to my, you know, to my, uh, you know, save saving, you know, you had you had right here in the pre-market a break of yesterday's high, which was 405. That also coincided with two days ago break break of the day's high. So in the pre-market, I, I have a video on that. You can see here how 405 levels there. And then you have, you know, the next. So I kind of got 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 long around 407 or whatever and um like right there right there this, that's the point where i got long and i ended up selling it at five so i made 20 percent on that and that pretty much made my uh made my two losses back very struggling very strong and that was the best trade of the day and um that's it i just i just lost i hit my max loss on two tickers and it was just uh pretty pretty terrible that I hit my max loss on two tickers and I held these two tickers longer because the day before everything there was a couple of stocks that I hold during the pre-market that pretty much um, pretty much uh, uh, held all day you know and then my, and then I pretty much recharged my batteries and then made uh, three good trades so I, I traded Rev, Moreo and Kazia so Moreo I, I don't know, I remember exactly how I traded this one Maria, I think I was buying it at a dollar. That was it. I was buying it at a dollar. And I sold way too soon. That was a pretty awesome trade. Maria was pretty good. And um, you see, then you have Rev. I bought it and sold it. Bought it, bought it and sold it. Rev. Oh, that that was Revlon on, on Sunday. Revlon on the... On... Uh, on, uh, on... What's it called? right here i was buying it as as it broke uh pre-market highs over here so i was buying it as, as it broke this um 333 level so i was buying it i saw this this uh this uh, resistance area of 335 and pretty much moved 20 cents i was buying it around here somewhere pretty much pretty good deal then i saw a revlon you know vwap reclaim over here and that actually coincided with yesterday's high with opening range high and I could have taken it long at 320 hit a high of three I don't know 90 pretty pretty awesome insanity move in Revlon and then on the middle of the day hit like five so that was just an impressive movement in Revlon pretty crazy pretty crazy I, I traded it conservative I think uh, my my Revlon was uh, the, the most money I made is in uh, you know uh, in uh, Moreo, Moreo was my buys, and then my sells. I, I I bought it at like 125, 133, Moreo, and then and I Moreo pretty much made my day that day because I tr made multiple trades on it, and I and I bought even this one, the uptrending wedge pattern formation. I bought it like I don't know 121 or whatever, 125, sold it 132. It was a sweet trade, one candle trade of seven cents. That was a pretty good trade. That was a two hundred dollar trade. You know, I just, I was just, that was like a four hundred dollar trade, and then I was trying to buy it again at like one thirty one with, you know, risking off the daily's resistance of one fifty, and it pretty much hit my target, and I got out a little too quick. Overall, I would have to say everything I did was correct. I took my profits pretty clearly. Maybe the only thing that I see that I did wrong is, I, I, I held two losers here. Uh, in the pre-market, you know, after they popped and dropped, and they were below VWAP, and I and both of them, I I pretty much uh, they hit my max my my max loss on the ticker. So if I didn't do this, I would have probably been um, oh probably been pretty pretty much better than uh, I am now. But um, you know, I'm just gonna fill in my fill in my uh, profits because I, I don't even know you know. I don't really know how, where I stand here on the week. 
Trying to see here. Uh, let's see. Trying to see here if I if I if I uh, you know trying to see here. There we go. Let's see if I can get my you know summer. Let's see if I can get my um, calendar here. There we go. So I'm gonna get my calendar out. And then I'm gonna just uh, review my trades, which was um, let's see. So Monday, what was what was what was Monday? Cause I don't even remember. I'm gonna do it like right now. Monday was thirteen ninety, thirteen ninety plus thirteen ninety ninety. I'm gonna put it over there. I mean, I, I'm green most of the days uh, with without any problem. Uh, but uh, on Thursday, I almost, you know, 379, 379, I'm, I'm green most of the days, but I'm not, but, you know, on, on Thursday, I almost lost it, like, you, you saw, like, what I did, 12.10, 12.10, I mean, my average has been uh, 12.10, I mean, on, on Thursday, I pretty much just uh, mess up. Uh, because I pretty much, uh, you know, I got burned out, I think. I, I pretty much know that I got burned out because these two trades would not, should or not have uh, happened. STR and VIVK. So, STRR, uh, let's see. And that was like, and if I were, I, I didn't even count commissions on it. So that was a 5.18.12. 5.18. And on Friday... Uh, on Friday was uh, let me see twelve eighty so twelve eighty on Friday. Let's see if I can get that. So overall good, I would have to say, but you know I almost got myself in trouble on on uh, on um, on Thursday. I, I I took two big losses. I, I would have been down like two k right over here if if uh, CMRA would not have saved me. So that's it. My goal is to make uh, to be green each and every day. And come in and uh, get a paycheck out and then pretty much uh, recharge my batteries but that's where I stand this week and uh, stay tuned um, so far looking good and uh, you know make sure you attend uh, uh, the live stream as well as uh, sign up to my uh, to my uh, you know free uh, free newsletter free OTC small caps trade idea Delivered each and every day into your inbox uh, right over here as well. Don't forget to click Subscribe to my YouTube video and don't forget to subscribe to my you know daily watch list 7-hour OTC course 6.5-hour NASDAQ course my trade idea settings My how to scan for OTC stocks you have a private discord private video library You know this price will be going up and doubling and this is a six month this is an intro price and make sure you sign up otherwise you're going to be looking at you know this is going to be a six month six month is moving to 12 month so so that so it's going to be six months for 400 and that's going to be three three months for 200 anyway those are the deals right now as soon as we get some people in here we're going to be raising our prices and uh, that is all I had to say, uh, hope you guys are safe out there and see you in the next video. Peace out.